Okay, now the machine does the, um, uh, not the rinse, it's a uh, uh, cool down. And uh, strange enough, it's starting to squeak a little. Um, I don't know exactly why it does that, but it's very common with these machines. Hmm. So it's only when it's uh, filled with cold water that it does that. <laughs> uh, strange as that seems to be, but well, you never know. Uh, it's not as noisy as this machine. Uh, by the way, um, uh, in previous videos, uh, you can hear this machine. Uh, the vascoptor, the bearings are not good in that machine, but it's more than that. It's the suspension too. Uh, let's see. We do that. It's um, now it doesn't sound that, but it's squeaky and. Um, uh, on this here, it's uh, only this one for gram, 40 synthetic and 40 normal that is currently working working in this machine. It was uh, synthetic 60, not working, um, Wallens not working, 60 not working, 30 not working, 95, we haven't even checked that out. But, um, it's um, it's something with the program module. Um, if you use the synthetic 60, it washes um, to the second um, point there, and after that, it just stops and does nothing. And on 30, it uh, only. It doesn't rinse at all, it just skips directly to spin. And woolens, I don't remember exactly what was the problem with that. Um, so, yeah, there's something wrong with the modal, uh, electronic modal. In it. But, yeah, synthetic 40 works and normal 40 also. So, um, and others we don't use uh, anyway, so it's it doesn't matter. We used try to use the 60, but yeah, it didn't work as it should there. So therefore, uh, if it only were the bearings, um, it would be kind of cheap to replace that. But because it's more than that, um, they are a bit hesitant to do that because they think that. Just let it uh, run till it, uh, till it just no run more. So that's that.